Nishka. Hi, Aline. It's good to see you back here in the segment. So we want to know how is the Asian performing for today's trading, Aline? Yes, Alia, good to see you too. So Asia-Pacific market lost momentum on Tuesday as major indexes across the region erased earlier gains and closed lower. Among them are Nikkei 225, Hang Seng Index, ASX 200, Kospi, only Chinese mainland shares advanced with Shanghai Composite closed in a positive territory, Alia. The mm. U.S. 10-year Treasury yield jumped to 2 High to year high, 1.83% on expectations of faster central bank tightening. Markets now fully priced for rate hikes from the Fed in 2022 Alia. Chinese President Xi Jinping cautioned against a rapid rise in interest rates that could derail the global recovery from the coronavirus pandemic Alia. Uh, so it looks like the Chinese economy is still doing well. Well, how about the Jakarta Composite Index, Aline? Yes, Alia. So Jakarta Composite Index, just like its peers in Asia-Pacific market, closed in negative territory on Tuesday. JCI lost 30.99 points or 0.47% to 6,614. All sectoral indexes were down today with IDX Techno fell the most. 2.71% followed by IDX Transportation and Logistics which shed 2.29%. IDX Finance managed to reduce early losses to close the day with small correction of 0.08%. Let's look at the big caps bank shares. Bank Central Asia, BBCA, closed lower 0.97% to 7,675. Bank Rakyat Indonesia, BBRI, just 0.48% to 4,190. Bank Negara Indonesia, BBNI, fell 1.74% to 7,075. Bank Mandiri, BMRI, erased early losses to close higher, 0.69% to six, I mean to 7,250. Alia. It looks like the banking industries are struggling to stay in the green today. How does the investor react with the rise of COVID-19 here we have in Indonesia? Yes, this is one of the factors that led to the weakening of Jakarta Composite Index today, Alia. Some analysts said that investors reacted to the rise of COVID-19 cases in Indonesia to the spread of Omicron variant. Average daily new confirmed cases in Indonesia has increased by 824 this week, a 79% increase compared to 459 last week. That occupancy rate in Indonesia hit 30% on the 17th of January, a significant increase if we compare that to the previous day which stood at 6% Alia. Government today announced that public activity restrictions or PPKM level 2 in Jakarta to be imposed from 18th until 24th of January. Due to the latest, development authority will assess the implementation of PPKM or the public activity restrictions every one week, not every two weeks as they did before. Analysts said that investors actually can take the opportunity to buy in the dip, just like what the foreign investors did, which recorded a net buy totaling 169.9 billion rupiah in regular market alia among the shares most sought after by foreign investors are Telekomunikasi Indonesia, TLKM, Bang Raya Indonesia, AGRO, and Bang Racket Indonesia, BBR Islands. Check now uh, the LQ45 top uh, gainers. We can find Jaffa Comfit, JPFA jump 4.49% to 1,745, and Chandra Asri Petrochemical, TPIA rose 2.33%, to 7,675. Medco Energy International climbed 1.69% to 480 as global oil price jumped today. Meanwhile, on 
IQ45 top losers, we can find two pulp and paper companies, Alia. Public Curtis, Chewy Kimia, TK, IM fell 4.56% to 7,325. Indakia pulp and paper, INKP down 4.2% to 7,975. Aneka tambang shed 4.04%. ANDM is still in a very strong downtrend, Alia. Even the nickel price, which hit all time high, could not stop ANTM shares from falling. This week, Alia, other than the COVID 19 cases in Indonesia, investors are keeping an eye on the interest rate decision by Indonesia Central Bank this Thursday. Back to you, Alia. All right, so despite all the changes made by the government of Indonesia, there's always an opportunity to gain. Anyway, Alin, thank you so much for the update. It's always good to have it from you. We'll be looking forward to have more updates from you, Alin. Take care.